Hey, it's John with Smart Edition Academy, and in today's video, we're going to go over the reading section of the TEAS exam. We're going to go over all the topics on this section of the test, the types of questions that you'll see, and kind of little tips and tricks that'll help you guys really master this section of the test. So the goal of the video is for you to know what's going to be on the test so that you don't have to guess is it on the test? Is it not on the test? You end up studying things that are not going to be on the test and you didn't study things that will be on the test. So this video hopefully is going to save you some time and questions about those kinds of things so that you can get right into your studying. So before we get into those topics, I want to make sure that if you guys like the video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of TEAS videos coming out in the next couple of weeks that I want you guys to be notified of when they come out. Now, there's also going to be some links in the description below. There's a link to our Facebook study group for the TEAS. It's got over 10,000 members in it, all asking questions, getting answers, sharing resources that are helping them uh, and everyone else. And it's just a really great community and I want you guys to be a part of it. So click that link, join the group, and you will also see links to our free full-length timed TEAS practice test. This is great if you're just getting started. There's a scored report that will help you identify what your weak areas are. And if you're getting a little closer to taking the test, it's a great thing to take as well to kind of see how ready you are and kind of where you stand. So check out those links. You'll also see links to the Smart Edition Academy online course, the practice test packs, study guides, and lots of other helpful links. So I want you guys to check that out. So with that said, let's get right into it. The reading section of the TEAS is going to have 53 questions in 64 minutes. So slightly a little bit over one minute per question, but you will need to move fast through this section because the passages that they give on the TEAS exam are quite long compared to some other exams that have sort of shorter passages. Um, the TEAS generally has pretty long uh, passages, so that makes it harder to get in there, read the passage, read the questions, go back to the passage, answer the questions. So you have to get good at practicing that. And that's what the practice tests are all about, whether it's the free Smart Edition one or any other practice test packs you have, or the Smart Edition Academy online course or practice test pack. Plenty of options for you. Just make sure that you are doing a lot of practice. Now you may also, it mixed in with those longer passages, which is more typically what you're going to get. You might see some shorter uh, stories or passages, kind of excerpts from books or magazines, journal uh, excerpts, recipes, maps, uh, things like that. So they, they might fold that in there as well. Now, one tip I can give you when trying to answer these questions, typically within four given answer options, uh, two of the options are going to be a lot more realistic than the other two. So there's going to be some very unrealistic answers on two of those, and those are the ones that you can eliminate. And then you can focus on the two that seem pretty realistic and try and uh, figure out which one of those is the correct answer using the information provided to you. And when you're selecting your answer choices, it's always a good idea to make sure that that information is coming directly from the passage or the text. So sometimes things seem like common sense, but you're actually getting tripped up. So an example might be something where they would say, you know, a game is played with six players. Maybe a game of baseball is played with six players, uh, but you know that particular game is played with nine players. So when you get the answer choices of uh, five, six, seven, uh, and nine, you might go for nine because you know that baseball is played with nine players, but that's not what the passage said. Nine does not appear anywhere in the passage. What it says is there were six players. So although it doesn't make sense, this particular game, maybe it was a Sandlot baseball game, there was only six players because that's what the passage said. So there are some things like that that might trip you up. So watch out for things like that and just make sure that you are really trying to find that, uh, answer choice in the actual passage or text. So another tip that'll be really helpful for you guys is know what type of passages there are. Uh, and this is kind of a common question that you might get, like what what is the, uh, what is this passage about or, or what type of passage is it? So, you know, there's persuasive, argumentative, technical, narrative passages. And what the tip is that there are keywords that help you identify what type of passage it is. So, for instance, some keywords that you might pick up on or be familiar with are uh, it'll say something like after a few days, not long ago, till next time, on the next occasion, from this point, 
from those words, you know that it is a narrative passage. And if you can know what those keywords are that kind of uh, point to an argumentative or a technical or narrative or persuasive passage, that is gonna help you answer those questions. And you'll start to see some of those keywords. You don't even need to read the whole thing. You already know you can answer that question, move on to the next one. So make a list of some of those keywords and know them so that you can quickly uh, you know, find the indicators of what type of passage uh, you're looking at. So starting with the topics, we can talk about key ideas and details. Uh, so this is gonna be things like the main idea, the topic sentence, supporting details within any given text, um, and summarizing text and using text features. So uh, know in for this type of thing, like uh, sequences and instructions, um, be able to interpret graphics like a diagram, a flow chart, bar graph, pie chart, be able to pull out the information that you're seeing in those diagrams to answer the question with the answer choices provided. Craft and structure are another important part of this section of the test, and that has to do with things like identifying the tone, mood, and transition words within any given text or passage. So knowing the tone and the mood, um, look for repetitive words that are the same tone or mood. It could be negative or pessimistic or positive or dismissive. No common transition words like first, second, next, now, for example, for instance, as a result, thus, or despite, however, those are all transition words to become familiar with. Now become familiar with these transition words so that you can easily recognize them within any uh, passage or text that you are coming across on the test. Now the author's purpose and point of view, uh, know what the types of purpose are. So that is to inform, to persuade, to entertain. Um, look for clues to determine the point of view. Making an argument is persuasive. The next topic is evaluating and integrating data. So these are text features and uh, finding elements that stand out. So, uh, you know, introducing the topic and organizing information, helping the reader find information, the table of contents, the index, uh, emphasizing concepts with things like italics, bold facing or underlining, um, and knowing maps and charts. You might get a nutrition label or as a question or a table summarizing some data, and you'll have to be able to look at that and answer the questions uh, based on the information that you're seeing in, in those maps or charts or uh, tables, things like that. So another topic revolves around facts, opinions, and evaluating an argument. You need to know the difference between a fact and an opinion. And this is not just for the teeth. It will really help you to know what the difference between a fact and opinion is in everyday life. So important to kind of get that under your belt and, and be very familiar with it. You know, so there's things like judgments are not facts. Uh, be able to know an, if an argument is valid or a poor argument and watch out for assumptions or biases that can throw off facts or opinions um, and things like that and evaluating an argument. Understanding primary resources, making inferences and drawing conclusions is a topic that uh, many questions involve. Uh, so that's knowing your primary resources, your secondary resources, your tertiary resources. Know what those resources are, what kind of encompasses those resources and how they're used um, and be able to evaluate the credibility of any particular uh, passage, publication, author, things like that. So um, knowing the types of resources and references uh, can help you do that. Like the data publication can, can help you evaluate credibility. If it's an article about the internet from 1988, hard to know if that's going to be credible uh, today. Um, you know, an author's information or, or their bio, uh, publisher's information, and just the pr general professionalism of any particular uh, text can help you identify and evaluate the credibility of that text. Now, knowing the types of passages, different text structures and genre and theme are gonna be questions that you'll see on the test. So knowing those types of passages, the narrative, expository, technical, persuasive, um, different text structures like a sequence, uh, comparing and contrasting, uh, a cause and effect, a problem solution, a description are different types of text structures to be familiar with. And then knowing different genres, right? So we all know fiction and nonfiction. Those are examples of different genres. So those are all the topics that you'll see on the reading section of the test. Now we're going to link some other videos up here that will be reviews for other subject areas and just other helpful videos. And then of course, in the description below, tons of helpful links.